Hello, and welcome to, to, to another edition of um, Big Bird um, Story Magic. Today I got a request from um, um, uh, you, uh, uh, um, Dave Ainto, or the original um, entire, um, Big Bird Story Magic story, imagine I'm uh, is so that's a book and a tape. Oh, let's see. I was just having trouble with them working. Let's see if he works now. Imagine that. You're my imagination. You're my imp. You're a celebration going on inside my head. Just close my eyes. I'm soaring like a seagull through the blue. Have 
feathers. Oh dear, I said. It's a terrible idea. I can't grow a mustache. Except for that, I think it's a terrific idea, said Oscar. You'd look even sillier than usual. Why don't you make a mustache out of an old broom and just stick it on? Well, I didn't think I'd like having an old broom stuck to my feet. So I said, never mind. All of a sudden, I got another idea. I'll build a bowling alley right next to my nest, I said. Then I won't be just plain old ordinary Big Bird anymore. I'll have my own bowling alley. And I imagined Snuffy and me going bowling when he came to visit. But then I looked at my nest and it came to me. There wasn't room for a bowling alley next to my nest. It was just another silly idea. Of course, Oscar liked the idea. Do it, he told me. A bowling alley would stick all the way out across Sesame Street, and then there wouldn't be any place for cars to go and people to walk. I love it. <laughs> so there was Oscar having a good time imagining my idea while I was feeling more and more plain and ordinary. Then, the next thing I knew, another idea popped into my head. Oh boy, I said, at last. No more plain, ordinary big bird now. I'm going to be the special, terrific bird who paints clouds. Won't that be wonderful? The sky will be so much prettier. Imagine that. And then I imagined me painting clouds, changing regular gray and white clouds into purple and yellow and green clouds. I even imagined striped and polka dotted clouds. Oh, I felt so much better. Then it happened again. I realized I'd made another silly big bird mistake. I couldn't paint clouds. There's nothing to paint on. Clouds are like fog. My hand and the paintbrush and the paint would go right through them. There was something else I'd forgotten, too. There wasn't any way for me to reach clouds. I don't fly, and I'd never find a ladder that was tall enough. So then I felt more than ever like my plain, ordinary old self. Oscar wasn't helping either. In fact, everything he said made me feel worse. This is your best idea yet, he shouted. Do it. The paint will drip right through the clouds and get all over everything underneath. What a mess. I love it. Green cows and purple trees and polka dotted people. Boy, would they be angry. They'd all run around and wonder who the feather-brained bird was who dripped paint on them. <laughs> okay, I said. Next time, I bet I get an idea that will put an end to my being plain, ordinary big bird forever. So I thought and thought. Aha, I said. The bus that stops in front of my door has a sign on it that says North. I'm going to ride that bus all the way to the North Pole. I'll bring my camera and take pictures of everything. Then I'll be known as the brave bird who went to the North Pole. That will make me feel terrific. But sure enough, I've gotten all excited for nothing again. I'd forgotten that buses can't go to the North Pole. The North sign on the Sesame Street bus just meant it went to the north side of town. I began to think I should just go back to my nest and stop trying to be special. 
Oscar didn't want me to go, though. He was having a good time listening to my silly ideas. I'd love to see a bus try to go to the North Pole, he said. It would probably end up floating around on a great big piece of ice with all the people inside shivering and wishing they'd stayed home. I decided to try just one more time. If only I could do something to help people, I thought. I know. I could grow sneakers for them on a sneaker farm. And I imagined me plowing up the ground, planting seeds, and watering the sneakers. Then I imagined me picking the sneakers when they were ripe and selling them to people at the market. And I felt really special for about two seconds. Do you know what I've done? I've forgotten that sneakers don't grow on farms. People make them in factories. Oscar had a wonderful time with this idea. He said it was a shame I couldn't grow sneakers on a farm like vegetables. Just imagine growing sneakers on a farm. Ha <laughs> ha, he said. I did imagine it, Oscar, I reminded him. And it's not funny. It is, too. People go to the market for yucky things to eat, like jam and cornflakes. But imagine what would happen if all the boxes and jars were filled with dirty old sneakers instead. <laughs> Oscar laughed so hard, he almost fell out of his trash can. I wasn't laughing, though. Poor old Big Bird, I said. I wasn't feeling just plain and ordinary anymore. Oh, no. Now I was feeling very sad and very sorry for myself. I tried to imagine something terrific and unusual to do that would make me feel special. But all I could imagine were things I couldn't do. Wasn't there anything special I could do? And then, guess what happened? Oscar said something that made me feel better right away. He said, I'll tell you one thing. You sure do a terrific job of imagining. Bowling on Sesame Street, growing sneakers, taking a bus to the North Pole. You're remarkable. Well, of course, Oscar meant to make fun of me, but he was right. I did have a terrific imagination. I was probably the only bird in the whole world who could imagine what it felt like to have a mustache. And I bet nobody else had ever imagined painting clouds before. I was so happy. Thank you, Oscar, I said. I don't feel plain and ordinary anymore. I feel terrific, and you really help. What a rotten thing to say, he yelled at me. Don't you know never to say thank you to a grouch? It makes his fur hurt. Yuck. Well, that's Oscar for you. But you know why I thanked him. I wasn't plain old ordinary Big Bird anymore. I was remarkable. There's nobody else like me. There's nobody else exactly like me. I'm a one of a kind. Really something special. I'm remarkable. Who has a feet like mine?
Okay, I'm Gabe. I hope you who I am enjoy that. How is he imagine that? See you next. I'm see you soon. And then other video. Bye.